Shadow. What was that noise? What's going on? Light. Not this again. There's official Azadi business going on here. You'll want to turn around and walk away. Looks empty. There's a strong current of air flowing through it. It's a leftover cheese and meats plate. I dined here. The food's good. I would never have left any bits uneaten. What was that sound? It was a squishy sound, sort of like... You've got to be kidding me. Not again. Shut a damn ground crawlers. I guess it's on us to clean up the mess. 
That bloody engineer in there is not going to do it. So yeah, it's on us. Light. Well, let's get to it. No time like the present. More of those odd metal orbs. They're doing something to them here. Altering them. The orbs appear to be an important part of the machinery. He's one of the people who work here. I've noticed others like him entering and exiting. They're odd looking. instruments such as these from cloud ships. Gauges and there's mathematics on that board. Oh, oh, um, you're not supposed to be here. This place is for engineers only. Please leave or I'll be forced to call the guards. I have a very loud voice when I'm scared. One sound and you'll be standing on the slopes of the first mountain, yelling at clouds. Yes. Oh, no problem. I'll be quiet as a... You're from Azadir. I've seen your profile in embroideries. I never forget a nose. You're the Apostle. Apostle Elvani. You're famous. Maybe once. Now I'm just Kian. Your turn. My, my turn? What? Your name. Who are you? Ferdows. I'm Ferdows. Lead engineer. I don't know what that means. What do you do? Don't you know? I thought you would have known. You know, from back when you were... I'm in charge of the team that encodes the spheres that make the engine tick. What engine? The engine that... <laughs> you know, the engine. There's only one engine. The one that encompasses the entire city. It's, it's what all the pipes are connected to. Didn't they tell you anything when you were, y you know, before you were a traitor? Assume that I know nothing. What is this engine for? The engine calculates. That's why they call it the calculating engine. <laughs> Big numbers, complex equations. I, we, uh, my team, we give the engine instructions about how and what to calculate. This is called coding. I understood none of that. You can't be here. You're a fugitive, and, and, um, this is a restricted zone. That's like two things that mean you shouldn't be here, and I could probably think of more if you need me to. I have a sword, and I'm bigger than you. Those are two things that count in your favor, granted. So what does this calculating engine do? What's its purpose? I'm... I'm really not supposed to. Right. 
bigger and soared. As I said, it calculates. I mean, it does more than that, but that's what it was built to do. It's core functionality. It adds, subtracts, multiplies numbers, big numbers, and it does things with those numbers. Like, um, like, have you ever watched the stars in the sky at night? I'm not just a man with a sword. Of course. And you've seen how those stars move across the sky. Using a calculating engine, we can actually track those stars and predict where they're going to be in a year from now, or a century, or where they were a century ago. Why are you tracking stars? Well, we're not. I mean, it's, it's just an example. We're not actually tracking stars. I mean, sure, we could if we wanted to, but... We're tracking dreams. Dreams? Dreams are very complex, which is why we need a big engine with lots of ticking parts to make complex calculations and predictions. Right, so the part about not just being a man with a sword? Assume that's all I am and start over. Yes, fine. Um, those pipes crisscrossing the city, they're sort of like, um, like speaking tubes, connecting a hundred sage masters, each with his or her own field of specialty. So, it's like a university? Well, I guess. Yes. Yes, this is a good comparison. A whole city filled with clever brains. The spheres pass messages between the different masters and between them and us. We write messages and we interpret messages. We tell the individual brains what to think about and then they do the thinking and report back to us. Now this allows us to write ever more complex messages until finally we have the code we need, the ultimate message. That one we send to the tower. Why? Because, because that's where the biggest brain of them all is located. This is the hub of the Pike Network, the engine's core, its heart, the nucleus of the meta... Well, you understand. The fact is, this is the most advanced and scientific task anyone's ever taken on. And we're doing it. You should be proud. Why are you doing it? Well, I... I... I don't quite know. Because we can? Because no one else can? Because the Prophet told us to, and gave us the tools to do it. So, you don't know what it's for? I write the instructions. I'm the, um, I'm the man in the middle. Someone tells me what they need, and I tell the engine how to compute the answer. This is my job. Who knows what the engine is for? A six? Probably. The Prophet, certainly. Emissary Saya, I would imagine. <laughs> this is above my pay grade. Above your... I was hired to write instructions for the engine and compute the spheres. Not to ask questions. And... and not to answer yours either, Mir. You really should go before someone comes. We'll both be in terrible trouble. They usually check on me all the time. I wonder why they haven't. I still don't understand. Why build all of this here in Mercuria? Why not in Sadia? Because of the tower and what's below it. Vast eddies of, um, meta-energies. Meta? Do you mean magic? 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 Of course not magic. This engine is, is, is the opposite of magic. It's the culmination of everything Azadir has strived for these last hundred years. An end to chaos and uncertainty. An end to superstition and irrationality. An end to magic. When the engine's fully operative and the programming complete, we won't need sorcerers or witchcraft anymore. We'll be able to do anything we want with science. Reshape reality. Rewrite the laws of the cosmos. Remove death and disease, poverty and warfare. The world will be run by scientists for the betterment of humanity. What do dreams have to do with it? The engine feeds on the... on, on the building blocks of reality. Um, ideas. Stories. Dreams. Magic is highly detrimental to the system. See, sorcery causes chaos. 
injects uncertainties and, and, and fallacies into our calculations. So, is that why magicals are being relocated? We can't have them around while the engine's calculating. But as soon as we're done... We you can... believe they're being relocated? Oh, yes. Yeah, yes, of course. I mean, it's what they told us. Why would they lie? It's simple. The engine isn't compatible with magic, and we don't want anyone getting hurt. There's no room for sorcery in Mercuria. The Magicals are better off in their new homelands. They're being sent to prison camps. Re-education camps. This is true, yes, but only temporarily. This is their first stop. Afterwards, they're given passage to their new homelands, where they can- Do you really believe that? What would the Magicals be re-educated to do? Forget that they're Magicals? No, Vidaus. That's not the truth. They're imprisoned. Killed. They're not given a new home. But they told us. They said they were... They, they promised they'd be safe. And happy. And... Oh, light protect them. So this is why we're sending all the Magicals away from Mercuria. Because of the engine. I... Yes. Yes. That's why. I didn't know. I didn't know. There are children. There are. They lied to us. Do you need to remove all magicals before starting up this calculating engine? It's already running. I'm... I'm not... As long as the thermaturgical interference is below the acceptable threshold for... Pretend that I'm a very small and possibly very stupid child. Oh. Uh, no. No, they don't, they don't need to get rid of all of the magicals. Just enough not to disrupt our calculations. We'll be done instructing the network in a couple of days. After that, they can pull the lever whenever they want. That's the last component of the engine. The tower. The one that will start feeding on and molding the dreams. Changing the world for the... For the better. Yeah. I, um... I believe the official ceremony is a few days from now. The emissary will be there, together with the first, and the prophet, and... And... And please don't kill me. I'm not going to kill you. But what you're doing here is not the will of the goddess, Fadaus. Something is going on. Someone's... <laughs> I had a feeling it was you. Mia? Goddess, what are you doing here, honey? Where are your men? Right outside. They can be here in seconds. You, engineer, what's your name? I threatened him. He played no part in this. For Dows. I'm... For Dows. You lied. I beg your pardon? You promised they'd be safe. No idea what you're talking about. Go, Fedaus. This is not about you. Just remember what I told you. You're not doing the work of the goddess here. Old Town was a distraction. Bamon meant it to be a struggle for my men to die. He wanted to take my mind off the investigation. Commander Bamon and the emissary have been lying to me about your death. Why is that? Because I'm a danger to them. And it's not the only thing they've lied to you about. This engine... You betrayed us. You joined the enemy. To stop Sire and Vermont, Not to fight our people. Not to fight you. Sister Sire is the emissary. Commander Vamon is your superior officer. They are your people. They are traitors, Mir. They have betrayed our nation, our faith, and... You should have come to me first, Apostle. You should have come to me. Instead, you've shamed me. You've shamed Mother Utana, the Six, the Goddess, your nation. When I received word someone had been spotted entering this house, I had a feeling it was you. I entered alone for two reasons. One, as a courtesy to the Mother. It would break her heart again to hear that you perished in dishonor, fighting my guard. And two, your living proof that Vamon has lied to me. I cannot reveal my hand to Vamon, but I also cannot let you go. You'll surrender to me now, without struggle, and you'll be brought to Sadir tonight, in secret. 
The courts will decide your fate. For the time being, while I sort out this mess, you'll be locked away under a false name. No one will know you're alive. When I'm ready to confront the commander and the emissary with their lies, I will reveal the truth about your survival, and you will cooperate every step of the way. Ask Sire and Oman about the camps, and what they're doing to... You lied. You lied to us. You told us they would not be harmed. You told us they'd be safe. There were children! Get off me, you idiot! Go! Go, Keon! Make them pay for this! Stop that! Get off me! I'll have you beheaded for this. Shadow, damn you, man! Leave this place! Now! Yes? Mother. It's the General. He asks to speak with you. Send him in, child. Hami. Is anything the matter? It's Kian. He's alive. Oh! Goddess. Goddess, be praised. How do you know this? He broke into the engine room down on City Green. Light! What was he doing there? Speaking with one of the engineers, Fadaos, a young man from the southern provinces. Kian said... Oh, well, it's of no consequence. He's a traitor. He's joined the resistance. But... It is as I suspected. We have been lied to by Vamon and the Emissary. For what reason? That I don't know. Yet. And until we do, we cannot confront the Mother. I agree. We don't know how firm their grip is on the tower. If they know that we know... What about Kian? Was he... Uh... How did he look to you? He looked strong. Different, but strong. He must have his reasons for doing what he's doing, Hami. Kian would never betray Azadir, or his faith. Perhaps, but that's what he's doing. I gave him the honorable choice to turn himself in and face righteous judgment. But he fled like a coward when the engineer attacked me. Attacked? I don't blame the man. Kian poisoned his mind with baseless lies. My men detained him, and I placed him somewhere safe, somewhere he can't tell anyone what he saw and heard. Out of Vamon's reach. We need to keep this between us, or we run the risk of alerting the commander and emissary Saya. Much as I'd like to hunt down Kian myself and put him to the sword, we must be patient. Let's trust the goddess, Hami, to illuminate our path and bring us to the truth. I certainly hope she will. Kian, thank the balance, you're back. Bip's been... They've taken him. Taken... yeah. Light. Are you sure it's Bip? I knew this would happen. We have no time to spare. We must get to him before... The cloud ship just unmoored and is already heading for Guillen. It's too late. Then we must follow. And abandon your mission here? For one child's life? Is it because he's a magical that he's not worth the trouble? You're such an angry, angry man. Do you really want Kian to leave Makiria and risk his life to save one boy? I thought so. This is what happens when we let Azadi criminals live. Ugh, stop it. That's not what happened, and you know it. They're sending all the magicals away. I know why, and I know what the pipes are for. What? Really? Are you serious? I'll explain later. Right now, we need to rescue the boy. I couldn't care less what you do with your life, Kian. But if you die, the Resistance suffers. And if I don't go after him, Bip suffers. Can we really afford to lose more people? We've lost so many already. And the Ane has her hands full with those who've been injured. Soon, there won't be enough of us left to fight. 
I need to think about this. I can't just abandon the boy, but... We can't stay here. The Azadi are hunting me. The General knows I'm alive. Honey? How did that happen? Did you approach him? Are you trying to curry favors with your former masters? Curry favors? How would I even... I'm not trying to curry any favors with... Stop it, both of you! You're really annoying and loud. Let's get out of here before all of it gets in trouble for harboring a fugitive. Shepard will want to have a say in the discussion. This isn't over, Kian. Oh, hush. Following the terrorist attack on Propast, where eight I officers and five civilians were killed by Marxist party members, the Syndicate has promised to maintain heightened security across Europolis until after the upcoming elections. The Propast district remains under full I lockdown and 24-hour curfew. We're now joined by Marek Farah in Propast. And Marek, how are regular people in Propast handling this very difficult situation? Well, Rika, as you can see, the streets here are deserted, almost two months after the August attack on the I headquarters in Propast. There's security everywhere, and everyone who goes outside is subject to random searches and arrests. There is a 24-hour curfew in effect, but people are allowed to traverse the district as long as they carry the appropriate paperwork and submit to any searches and questions. What about essentials like food and water, Marek? Are any stores or restaurants still open? I think this Everything is, done. is closed, mm, Rika, but rations are distributed to residents of Propast on a regular basis. Uh, medical personnel are on constant standby. No one here is in any immediate danger of starvation. Has there been any indication of how long this lockdown will continue? The Syndicate is not saying, Rika, but spokespeople have up, hinted that Propast up, will remain no under Syndicate guardianship until after the election yet. in. We appear to have lost our connection to Marek Farah in Propast. We will attempt to re-establish the connection. In the meantime, when we come back, we talk to someone very close to Marxist leader and terrorist mastermind, Marta Rebus, about her dark and... Shit. Power's out, again. I'm sure they're doing this just to screw with us. I'll have to check the emergency fuel cell in the kitchen cabinet. It should have kicked in by now. I can jiggle it a bit. That sometimes works. Nope, that did not work. I guess I need a new one. And I know just the person. Zoe Maya Castillo, your district is subject to syndicate mandated martial law. Please submit an approved destination or return to your home. Thank you. The pandemonium is your only approved destination. I will accompany you. Please, don't talk. Authorized to use deadly no more force against any perceived threats. They're serious about it. If I perceive, they actually shoot people now. No Stay more friendly banter than these guys. And don't They're serious about the from your path. They actually shoot. We're not fucking Everything around here. Closed. No we customers. No pilots. Everything is closed. No customers. No pilots.
Mira's been helpful. She's not all bad. Mostly bad, yes, but not all bad. Wit made Kidbot. For that reason alone, I'll always have a soft spot in my heart for him. Chicken Tikka! You're back! I thought we'd lost you. I didn't want to risk the curfew. It's been... Believe me, I know. I've been stuck here with wit for weeks. I've reached my limit on one-sided conversations. It's like being stranded on a desert island. A really shitty island. Without sun, sand or coconuts. Or wire access. And with a mute half-wit as my man Friday. So, you're here for your dreamer? What? I fixed it. You had your dream machine delivered to me. Because it was broken about a month ago. Does any of this ring a bell? Your friend, that German suit, said you'd come by to pick it up. He looked like a Jaeger. I thought he was here to blow my brains out, but he was very personable. What was wrong with it? An early batch, bad soldering. I fixed several like it in the past. FYI, it's an off-the-shelf model that pings Watty servers with a device ID and your biometric data as soon as you connect. That won't be a problem unless they've put an alert out on you or that particular device. But I went ahead and blocked it anyway. Still, it is a licensed product. There may be other security measures. I cannot be 100% sure that it won't alert Watty. There are unlicensed dreamers out there without any security chips. But Mr. London has that market locked up here in Propast. Given the trigger-happy toy soldiers out there, I wouldn't know how to get hold of one. I'll be fine with this one. As long as you know the risks. If you weren't here for that, then why the house call? Oh, uh, fuel cell. The power went out and I don't have a working backup. That's not very smart, Putria. Lucky for you, I'm up to my neck in fuel cells. Anything particular you're in the market for? The cheapest you have. Grab one from that box over there. They're refurbished cells, but they'll keep your apartment going for a few weeks at least. Bring it back before it goes dead. I'll refill it for you. Wit made Kidbot. For that reason alone, I'll always have a soft spot in my heart for him. So how much do I owe you? You still owe me for the last favor I did you. Right. And I guess you're about to call on that favor? You know me so well, Petal. You can repay me by going home and staying there. The streets are not for you, Kutria. Thanks. Wait. What happened to that data I decrypted for you? Who did you end up giving it to? I gave it to the Hand, but before they could publish it... They were shut down. Where's the data now? With Reza, in Iceland. Iceland. The final refuge of rogue journalists. You didn't keep a copy? I didn't want to risk it. Stupid, I know. You may have just saved your ass. Too bad about the story, though. When is your Jorgo coming back? I really don't know. When they feel it's safe. I guess. That story needs to run, Kutria. Whatever it takes, make it happen. You have expended your daily time out. I will now accompany you back to your registered domicile. Don't bother. I know the way. Every step you take, I'll be watching you, as mandated by martial law. How about every breath I... If Ms. she's Castillo? here, Queenie must still be around. Queenie is requesting your immediate audience. I haven't seen her in... Oh, um... I don't think I have time to... Queenie insists. She really does insist. Uh, what about my, uh, my escort? You have arrived at your approved location. Have a nice day. Mm. You can come on board now. Impressive. We do our best. I 
I'm happy to see you back on your feet, Ms. Castillo. I was hoping to speak with you again before I went away. Oh, you're leaving? Your friend, Mr. Mafane. He never came to see me. He left the city? Yes. There are rumors that your candidate, Uminska, has accepted bribes from what it called. But without evidence, who knows what the truth may be? I... There is evidence. I gave it to Sully at the hand, but they weren't able to publish it before the Syndicate shut them down. My boyfriend Reza brought it to Iceland. The data's safe there, but the hand hasn't been able to publish it. I'm sorry. I should have been honest with you. You should have, and I am disappointed. But we have more pressing things to discuss. You knew the woman who set off the bomb. Nella. You were there. I tried to stop her, but it was too late. I don't believe she planned to kill anyone. She wasn't... Nela was a good person. She cared about people. She gave me something to keep safe, but I lost it in the explosion. Maybe it could have explained why. Our lives are shaped by events beyond our control. The choices we make can point us down one road or the other. But where that road ultimately leads... Your friend's death was not of her own making. The device she used was rigged. It was meant to disrupt the eye, not to kill anyone. An EMP? How do you know this? Nela needed someone to help her assemble the device. Hannah came to me after the bombing. She was distraught. Of course, she had no idea what they were doing. But she is the link. She may be able to connect the bomb to the Syndicate. The Syndicate is behind the attack on their own people. Everyone is expendable. It all leads back to what he calls them. They are consolidating their power and ridding themselves of loose threads. I'm leaving. This city is infected, rotting from the inside. You need to leave too, but first, there's something you must do. Your memories... They're coming back. I know what I need to do. The dream machine. Be very careful. Powerful forces are converging here and elsewhere. How do you... I've been around a long time. You learn to read the signs. You're fading, Zoe. Fading? Like a page that's been left out in the sun too long. Do what needs to be done. Do not hesitate any longer. I've given you time to regain your resolve, but we're almost out of it now. If we both make it through the storm ahead, I'll find you again. I hope so. I will. Now go home and do what needs to be done. Wake up. You can come out now. How long have you known I was here? Do not mistake me for an old woman, Hannah. You told her about- There's no more time for secrets. Watikorp must be brought down. What you know will make a difference. But I don't have any actual proof they were involved. I only made deliveries. You know enough. Find the evidence. Work together with Zoe. How do you know we can trust her? She's like you. Someone who shapes dreams. I know. I mean, I guess when we met. But how is that even possible? I thought I was the only one. Why do you think you were drawn together? Coincidence is a powerful force. Zoe needs your help. A terrible shadow has fallen over her. How do you know this? I don't. I'm not a fortune teller, and the future is never crystal clear. It branches and divides. 
indefinitely and infinitely, but there are patterns and signs. If you know where to look, do you have to leave? They know I'm here now. Watikorf has been looking for me a long time. I'm a... a loose friend. I promise I'll find you again, Hana. Your journey is just beginning. There are wonderful things in store for you. But for now, your job is to help Zoe finish her journey. Without that, without her, there will be no more stories. Afterwards, if the universe is still here, we can talk about the next chapter. What else is there to what else is there to do except watch the screen? Right. The dream machine. Watercorp has won our undivided attention. Entering my second month of sleeping without Reza. We can't even talk. I never knew my mother, but I've been told that in many ways she's the opposite of my father. Gabrielle never makes hasty choices. Gabrielle ponders and when his mind's made up, he'll stick with his decision until the end. My mother's impulsive, mercurial. If the wind changes, she'll let herself be swept away with it, as long as it's to her benefit. She put me in a coma. I'm not a big fan. But maybe it's time I accept some risks. After all, I keep telling everyone I want to remember. I need to enter dream time. I need to revisit the past. It's the only way to save the future. You returned, but you were still not here. You must be here. Is this a dream? I thought I'd actually travel across this time. You were here, but never truly. Not yet. But you must come to... Ah! What the heck was that? Oh, hey guys, what's up? Crow? You're Crow. You're Crow. I remember you. You do? I am. Wait. I remember you too. Of course you do. It's me, Don't Zoe. Don't say anything. I've got this. Lorelei. Baby cakes. Schnoodlebum. Who? I'm... Agneta. I'm sorry. Uh, how have you been? That's not... Look, Aggie, I apologize for taking off without a word of warning. I didn't have a choice. I was needed. I'm not Agnita. I'm... Auntie May? No. Zoe. Where? Oh. Oh, Zoe. Yes. 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 The girl who was dreaming. You look different. Are you sure you're you? <laughs> Pretty sure. I don't know. You look a lot better than you used to, and your voice, it's sultry. You sound like a cinnamon bird. I don't even know what that means. I was in a coma for a while, maybe that's... What are you doing here, Crow? Are you really here? Let me check. Yep, all here, not a feather missing. So, where is here exactly? Whoa, Nelly! I didn't expect 
that, uh, you... you're... memorable. Wait, Auntie May? No? No. I was Abnaxus of the Venar. That's right. I remember you now. You were really annoying to talk to. Took ages to get anywhere. How have you been? I will not complain. I don't get it. This is just like that dream I've been having. Except for you, Crow. You're new. And improved. It's that preening routine I'm following. I'm telling you, it's a game changer. So why didn't I make it across? The connection was weak. Compromised. You were only half dreaming. Only half there. You will need to be all there. And soon. Or it was too late. But you had brought the bird over. The bird will be the key. If you can just... so well you weren't that's not the point i said i was fine it wasn't up for in reputation sometimes it's better to just let people know rather than keep pretending the eyes will be here soon we need to go underground how's that going to help we can't just hole up in one of those chambers forever trust me is this place? The world beneath. A network of tunnels covering all of Propast and beyond. I don't know how far it goes. This is amazing. Is this how you guys get around? For the most part. Some of the nests are only accessible from above ground, but you can get pretty much anywhere from here. Come on. Wait, where are we going? You spoke with Queenie. You know I helped Nella with that device. The one that killed all those people. You didn't know. And neither did Nella. You're right. But someone did. Someone does, and we're gonna put it right. Mr. London has a warehouse down here. It's where I pick up and make deliveries. It was just a job, but... That's where we're going. To find evidence to connect Wattie Corp to the bombing. This warehouse, is that where London keeps his unlicensed dream machines? He keeps everything in there. Why? I need one. For after we clear Nella's name. Long story. Tell me later. We need to go. It's only a matter of time before the eyes start digging deeper. I came as fast as I could. Are you okay? Perfectly. You know Zoe. Hey Zoe. This is yours. You dropped it when... Boom. I was following you. I didn't know who you were working for back then. I saw what happened. The man who pulled you away, he didn't notice you dropping that. I thought the eye took it. I've been wanting to return it. What is it? I don't know. Maybe nothing. Let's get a move on before the eyes figure out where we are. We lost power to the gates. They must know you're down here. We'll have to use the manual overrides. 
It requires two people, some sort of security measure. I'll show you how it works. Go ahead, Abby. Okay, Zoe, you can pass through now. After this is over, can we please leave Propast and go somewhere that has an actual sun? And no battle suits. I promise. You're not coming with us. I'm going to make sure you have time to do what you need to do. She'll take care of the eyes. Is that safe? Don't worry about me. I've done this before, plenty of times. See you soon, babe. Be careful. Always am. Hannah, I... Stop. Love you. Me too. I'm happy to see you guys are okay. What you said to Abby, it made a difference. She stopped using the dream machine. And after you found me, I realized I couldn't just keep hiding. I promised Abby we'd get out of Europolis. I'm thinking Mumbai. Why Mumbai? Don't laugh, but I had a dream about it. About those dreams? Visions. They are more like visions, right? Or like peeking through a curtain, across a, a, a divide. There's another world there. I've seen it. Have you been there? I have. And you dream yourself across? I can, but only by connecting to a dream machine. I thought I was the only one. Me too. What does that mean? I don't know. But we'll find out. Together. Okay, so you know the drill. Once the gate opens, you need to go through and hold the lever down. Down. Right, I'm coming through. Don't let go or I'll be sliced ham. So what happened? Nailer, the device? The detonator was supposed to trigger an electromagnetic burst. You know, to disrupt communications and mess with the eye battle suits. The EMP generator got switched out with an antimatter chamber. Jesus. Lucky for you, it had limited range. They weren't trying to wipe Caprova off the map. I guess they just wanted to make a point. Frame manifesto. Remove another party from the election. Let's do this. Same as last time. Do you hear that beeping? What is that? I don't. Yet, yeah, it's coming from you. You're beeping. Why would this be so important to Nella? It makes no sense. It's beeping. What is this? Some sort of holographic storage? I don't know, but it's reacting to something down here. Let's track it down. Come on, follow me. shut down the city. Full curfew, everyone stays at home, hooked up to their dream machines. What are you- The signal's getting weaker. We must be heading in the wrong direction. And shut down the city. 
Full curfew, everyone stays at home, hooked up to their dream machines. What he wins. So where did the antimatter come from? London's a stickler for detail. He'd always make sure everything that moved in and out of his warehouse is scanned and catalogued. Paranoia, maybe? Covering his ass. Anyway, when I picked up that final piece, the one that was supposed to be an EMP generator, I noticed it had a Watty Corp reference code in their system. I didn't think much about it. I mean, they make everything else, so why not? If we can find one of those antimatter chambers, along with the tracking information, we may be able to connect Watty Corp with the device. We can prove they were behind the attack. And the whole house of cards comes tumbling down. Or maybe we get killed. I'd say our odds are 50-50. less often. That's probably not a good sign. This is it. Um, what is this? It's a singularity, I think. One of the original wire access points from before the collapse. That's pretty cool. Oh, it must have fallen off the grid. Let me check if it's... It's active. So the Syndicate has no idea this exists. But I can't establish a connection to my iris. Or protocols, probably. It has a holographic port. It might be able to read physical data, and it's blinking at the same rate Nella's package is beeping. It's like it wants to connect. I guess we should do what it asks. Nella Vilcek, owner of Nella Bites. I'm leaving this message. To communication. Manifesto party leadership has not authorized this operation. Marta Rivas has no knowledge of what's about to happen. I am acting of my own free will as part of a manifesto splinter group. We're tired of... <sighs> Marta Rivas believes in politics. She's an idealist. I wish more people were like her, but the truth is... Democracy is dead. The corporates won. The elections are a facade. It's all a big, fat, festering lie. A show put on by our syndicate puppet masters to appease the proletariat. Whoever wins this autumn, it won't change a goddamn thing. They have made sure of that. They own them all. Everyone's corrupt. Everyone. We can't let this go on. We need to shake things up, start fresh. This is why... This is why I'm taking action today. I have been asked to detonate a non-lethal EMP charge in front of the I headquarters on Kaprova. This custom-built charge was designed to disable I communications, sabotage their operations, and immobilize their battlesuits. It's a... a... message. A loud, bold message, but... <sighs> it's just another lie. The non-lethal EMP charge has been replaced with a very lethal antimatter device. The detonation will kill me, along with anyone...
caught in the blast. There will be casualties, military and, and civilian. They'll accuse Ribas of harboring radicals and inciting violence. Manifesto will be destroyed. They don't know that I know. If they did, I'd be dead. But I need to go through with this. Because if I don't, nothing changes. If I go to the authorities or the press, they'll sweep it all under the rug and make me disappear. They're good at that. If I carry out their plans, however, everyone pays attention. They'll have no choice. And then afterwards, expose the cunts. The ones pulling the strings. The ones who built the fucking bomb. What a corp. I'll be a terrorist and a murderer, but so will they, and they have a lot more to lose. Lucky for me, they've been arrogant and sloppy. That's how I found out, and they've left evidence for someone to... E-N-N-I-N-G. Penning. The chamber was swapped out before I could... And track this part back to Watikorp. Decrypt this message with a dead drop signal embedded in the local hardwire, which will be triggered the moment my iris goes dark. I'll have to trust that the right people will follow the right signals down into the underground. I'm... I'm truly sorry that people are going to get hurt, killed. I wish there was some other way. I just don't know what I can... <laughs> Jesus, I can't believe Nella did what she did. The people she hurt, killed. If I can't tell Hannah the truth, she'll just blame herself. We have to get Watty for this, or those people will have died in vain. Most of it was garbled, but Watty's involved. Nella confirmed it. And there was one word, or maybe a name, Penning. A code name of some sort. I don't know, there's no wire access, so we can't look it up. Maybe Mira can restore the rest of the recording. If anyone can, it'll be her. If it helps establish a connection between Manifesto and Watty Corp... She can help us connect the dots. And it's a safe place for me to dream. Let's head to the warehouse. I don't know how long Abby will be able to hold off the troops. Will she be okay? She's resourceful. And smart. just recently. That's what all this is about? Parallel worlds? Sort of. There's something happening. In this world and the other that threatens the dream. The dream? It's what keeps reality real. Without the dream, things stop existing. It's like a blueprint for everything. That makes as much sense as anything else, I guess. And you need to fix it. <laughs> 